What's good with the guys? It's Mike, aka Buzz Lightyear here. Gonna bring you some gameplay of Team Deathmatch and the map interchange. Now, as you can see, I actually walked into the game a little bit late. The game was, uh, we were already losing 2100 to 4100. So, uh, when I walked in, I really didn't expect too much, especially because this was my warm up game. Uh, typically, what I like to do is I like to warm up with either the Scar or the ACR. Um, obviously, they're both really dominant guns, and they're something that uh, can get you a lot of kills if you use them right. Um, but yeah, I ended up walking into the game not expecting a whole lot, and I ended up going flawless. I went 17-0, and um, and we ended up turning the game around from this uh, big deficit, and we ended up winning 7,500 to 6,700. Now, typically what I like to uh, do in the very first game, you know, my warm-up game, is I'll rock uh, usually Slide of Hand or Assassin. It's always going to be Assassin, because I like the... Sorry, right here, I'm actually... Jbug3 just uh, text messaged me and asked me to get on. I'm like, dude, I'm already fucking on. You're the one delaying. Um, so you'll see in here in just a minute, he throws me an invite, but yeah, but typically when I'm, you know, in my very first game, uh, what I like to do is I'll run assassin so I can run around the map, be a little more stealthy. Um, and then what I'll do also is with my kill streaks, um, I'll set them real low, like a three, um, uh, like a three, five, six. I think in this one I was running three, five, six, uh, so I can have, uh, you know, UAV predator missile and precision airstrike. Um, and then naturally a little bit later on in the game, um, or, you know, a couple maps later, once you've kind of warmed up to your, uh, you know, your controller and things like that, the, you know, the way you're sitting, um, your headset, you know, if you've got turtle beaches or whatever, um, you know, you can start uh, changing your kill streaks to be a little bit higher, maybe like a, like me, I'll go from like a 3.56 to like a 3.512 or a 3.612 or, you know, something like that, that way you can get more kills, but, yeah, just try to keep that in mind, try to keep in mind that you want to use a gun that's uh, fairly accurate, Something that, uh, you know, you're really good with, something you're comfortable with. Otherwise, you're just going to get your ass pooped on. And that's the last thing anybody wants. I see a lot of guys out there using, uh, you know, good guns, but their kill streaks are set too high. They're not giving themselves that UAV, so they're not warming up. They're not getting into the game. So these guys are going, you know, barely positive or uh, they're breaking even or they're going negative. So uh, keep in mind your kill streaks are key. I mean, if you can, you, you know, rock that 356 for just a few rounds before you start getting into, like, the higher kill streaks. You're going to do yourself a lot of good doing it like that. Uh, one other thing I wanted to bring up real quick to see if this happened to you guys. And if you could, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Um, but this has happened, this is the uh, yeah, third or fourth time or maybe the fifth time in all the Call of Duties that I've actually ever been flawless. Um, but at least uh, a significant flawless where I was like 17. And I mean, obviously there's games of Search and Destroy where you go 4-0 or 2-0. But I mean... A legitimate flawless where you get at least 10 kills or more or 15 kills or more um, but I wanted to ask if this has happened to you now this happened in Black Ops obviously the prior Call of Duties I mean if it's happened it's uh, no big no big deal because there was no real recording other than like a PVR but if you had a PVR obviously it didn't get lost but um, this is the second time that I've actually had a recording or the chance of a record where I went flawless and Unfortunately, my very first time I went flawless in this uh, or in a Call of Duty game, it was in Black Ops, and it was on a, a free for all game on the map Summit. And uh, I went 30 and 0, and it was like the fastest game I think I'd ever had. And I think it went, went within like two and a half or three minutes, and I got all 30 kills. I ended up getting dogs, a, a Blackbird, and I think at the time I had a Mortar Strike. And uh, you know, obviously I was super excited. I was like, you know, fuck yeah. I just got a bunch of kills. I beat, you know, I beat these guys' ass real fast. This is going in file share, and uh, for whatever reason, like you know, typical Treyarch, typical, typical Black Ops, um, you know, the game was lost or the footage was lost. I don't know how that shit works, but um, yeah, I wanted to see if that's happened to you guys, where you've had a, you know, a badass game, one of your favorite games you've ever had, and for some reason it didn't get recorded or it got lost. So uh, let me know if that's happened to you. Other than that, guys, this game's coming to a halt. Uh, ended up already getting my 17 kills. About to use my Predator missile. Um, ended up hitting the bridge with it, failing epically with my Predator missile. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, other than the, you know, other than the failing with that, if you guys could do me a quick favor, just click that subscribe button. Maybe if you could, bottom left hand side of the screen, hit that uh, thumbs up, and just leave me some feedback. Let me know if uh, you know your gameplay's ever been lost. Um, Anyways, I hope you guys are all keeping it real. Post some more videos here soon. Um, talk to you later. Peace.